I was here today to work with Koshi and her group. Pleasure to be here. And basically what I did is gave a bit of an overview about uh, creating math walks for students, math trails, taking the mathematics outside of the classroom and doing math outside in the real world. So by trying to bring the outside world into a math classroom or the math classroom to the outside world, it gives students a sense for where math is used and also the beauty of mathematics. I mean, one of the things I showed today were a lot of pictures of patterns and shapes and buildings and numbers that are just absolutely gorgeous. And it gives students a sense that it's a beautiful subject. And it, you know, it, 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 it goes into their heart. You know, they end up feeling that, wow, I mean, I, I want to know about this. You know, I want to learn more. So I think that that's one of the primary benefits for students is that it comes into their heart, you know, where they end up, you know, feeling good about the subject and seeing it as being something beautiful and artistic and worth knowing about. I thought this was a great um, session with Dr. Lancaster. It reminded me that I needed to slow down and actually see the world around me and also transfer that to the students who so frequently are in class and it's timed and, and we don't have time to let them be creative. This is a wonderful opportunity to allow the students to be uh, creative and to see the world and, and as they say to slow down and smell the roses. So I can see this being used with our students as we introduce lessons in math, also as we introduce lessons in science. So this is a great way to uh, engage our students in a different way outside of the classroom.